Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is, spar- this is part of the Scubana e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. And that's why we have Travis. Scubana is a software platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. And today we have Travis Romine, founder of Sharp Commerce. His company is a group of e-commerce ninjas helping with customer engagement, retention, and advanced marketing, and much more, which we'll talk about. He took sales from $100 per day to over $15,000 per day over a 10-year period at Paradise Fibers that he co-founded, which they grew to one of the top performing businesses in the needlecraft industry. Now, Travis, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me, man. So let's go to whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call the software showdown. You're going to call it the shootout comparison shopping cart, whatever. So just talk about um, whatever you want to compare with. I know I had listed big commerce, Magento, Shopify, and then obviously Volusion. Which which you want to start with? Advantages, disadvantages, what you like, what you don't like. Okay. Um, the, like one of the biggest things that you got to consider, uh, especially if you're going to look at Magento is the hosting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, price is one thing, right? <clears throat> and Magento actually offers CE community edition. Um, and there's EE enterprise edition community edition. People don't, they're like, Oh, it's free. It must be crap or something or what? How, how does that work? <laughs> well, it's, it's open source, right? Right. Um, so you can, uh, basically they're, they're throwing it out there kind of in this like this permanent beta test for people to uh, use for free and to get feedback and to have people work on it. Um, and, you know, developers develop extensions for it, make it more popular. And then as it gains, you know, as, as this fledgling grows up, they start to charge more money for it or charge some money for it or they, they're making money in different ways. But it's typically, I mean, that's, it's, it's a strange model. It's really weird, but CE is free. Yeah. Um, and, and EE and there's no support or anything. You're on your own, man. You got the software yeah. and good luck. Install right. it on whatever Linux or whatever, or, or whatever you're going to put it on and whatever OS you want to yeah. try to launch it on. They've got a white paper on it and it's pretty elaborate. I don't, I don't know much about that side of it. I just let, let my developer people deal with that. And, right. um, there's actually even your developers that are really experienced, they won't be able to set it up properly. Um, and they yeah. they'd probably do okay. But there's no way that you're going to do that personally. You got this free software. Just forget about it. It's not happening, man. It's going to be very difficult for you to set that up. It's never free because you're going to spend hours and then you're going to have to redo it. Right. Now, there's two things of setup for uh, CE. You're setting it up on your host, a hosting environment, which is really difficult. You need to have a professional help you with that. It's going to be 200 bucks a month for some kind of a service. And you can plug that in. Um that's free software. So it's, it's kind of cool. That can work. Mm-hmm. And then you have the other side of setting it up where um, you need to get your, attri- get your mind wrapped around the attribute set thing and attributes and how that relates to the products you're going to sell. Um, and that goes for, of course, uh, enterprise as well. That's a big deal. Now, enterprise is like 18 grand a year or something like that. You got to call them for a quote and uh, do some messing around. Once you get that, again, you just have software. They're not hosting it for you. Uh, oh, really? So- Even at that price level? <laughs> uh-uh. And it's eighteen grand a year. So why do people do out. it then? Because it's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. And the support now is a lot better from Magento. Um, I'll throw that out there. The Magento support's been freaking awful for a long time. It's a joke, and it's it's gotten a ton better. So anyway, I don't want to dwell on Magento too much there, but that's um, and, and the hosting from Magento typically uh, when you say enterprise, everything doubles. Um, kind of like Pro Tools when you're, if you're audio guy, uh, right. your extension or your plugins for Pro Tools are like double. Uh, so extensions are double or more. Hosting's more. Hosting's like three times as much. So it's about 650 bucks through Nexus every month. Um, yeah. So you're at the 18 grand a year, 650 bucks a month. That's just getting started. So you're not like developing three anything. grand a month ish. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Um, and so that that's significant. When we're talking about, and I want just wanted to preface that out there that Magento is a big deal to get started. 
<clears throat> it's awesome. And I'm going to talk about all these other features that it's got when mm -hmm. I compare it to the other two. And you're going to go, oh, why would anyone do anything else? Well, there's at what reasons. level? Yeah, what level would someone's business have to be at for them for you to tell them to consider it? Their budget mainly. If they got the budget, like I'm doing a build out right now, it's pretty much zero to sixty. Um, that someone had this like, Shopify site that was clunky and <clears throat> not a big Shopify fan, and we're taking that thing and plugging in, building out an entire killer suite of Magento. Um, for with ev all my best practices built in, everything's baked in, man. Mm -hmm. All the extensions that I love, all my partners, everything's are, and they've got a decent budget, and it's going to rock. Uh, that's going to be my new case study. Um, look for that, you know, over the next eh, probably be six months. I want to let those guys get some really good traction, but they're basically starting from nothing, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll get those guys rocking uh, anyway. So, uh, as far as uh, evolution and what you know, how you're going to start out. Magento is not a scalable platform. It's really not. I don't consider it a scalable platform. It's either go big or go home. You can do CE on 200 bucks a month or whatever, but like for beginners, it's a lot of work. I would much rather see a client of mine, if they're like, hey, I want to get into your commerce. I want to have some kind of a mid-level package, put something together for me, whatever. Okay, you can go with Volution. And Volution has this turnkey setup. They'll do the graphics for you if you pay them a little extra money, a couple grand, three grand or something. They'll do custom graphics for your whole website. Come up with all the stuff. They'll do your logo even. Whatever. Let's throw it in. It's, it's just happening. And you may not have any branding skills or even know what you want. Kind of. They'll just do it. They'll also do your AdWords for you. You can plug that in. They'll also do, um, uh, I think, remarketing. They'll do Facebook, tied into Facebook. Volution will do all that. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. And it's not like the best on the planet, but it's pretty good. Right. You know, they do a pretty good job and located down in Austin, too, which I like. Um, and, and so I like Stubbs, actually, barbecue in Austin. That's what I'm thinking about now. Stubbs. Are they oh, behind the gas station? Uh, it's in a weird part of town. Okay. I've been there once. Okay. I was <laughs> just there. So it was, has like this big amphitheater out back. Yeah, where, I don't like, think like I went to Stubbs. I think some and, people mentioned it, but we didn't end up going there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a cook. Mm -hmm. That's did you see? You know the bottle of Stubbs barbecue sauce. That's where yeah. it comes from, man. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good barbecue sauce. Anyway, yeah. all right. So now we're way off track. Big Commerce or Volution. These are the I think Big Commerce is also in Austin, right? I don't know. I think I'm more right. familiar with Volution. I've used them. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Volution and Big Commerce are great solutions to scale up on. Uh, that's a big difference between Magento. You can start small. Go this small monthly fee. Yeah. And um, as you grow, they're going to charge you more. <clears throat> and you can also add features. Yeah. Uh, add third parties. Add ex they, they got a small, smaller amount of extensions and third parties, much smaller than Magento. Yeah. Um, much, much less elaborate. Um, and they're going to cost you more SaaS model wise because they're not getting that much up front from you. So a lot of that happens. Uh, they're going to get you with the SaaS model stuff um, for extensions and extra functionality all, all over the place, unfortunately. But you get to start out small with the scalable, um, you know, based on like how many uh, gigs you're using and whatever else. And it's right. they're gonna it's gonna seem like they're overcharging you too. But you gotta remember you got to start from like nothing, you know, what right. twenty what, fifty bucks a month or something for Volution for, right. and you get a lot of functionality out of that. Um, <clears throat> so another big difference between Volution and Big Commerce, yeah, uh, especially for guys just starting out. Um, I've got. I had a client that came to me and was like, hey, I want to, I kind of want to do Magento, but I don't really know what I'm doing, essentially, right? And, um, you know, but that's just what it was. And I'm like, uh, you know, they're, they're just kind of, a, they're, they're, they're an intermediate e-commerce skill level. Hmm. And they didn't want to have my team on board a ton for the implementation. I said, right. dude, don't do Magento. You're going to have to go with Big Commerce, I think. And they've got a similar feature set. Not everything Magento's got, but it's based off the Magento Go uh, platform, which is right. now defunct. And uh, Big Commerce will hold your hand through all of it. Yeah, that's the cool part. Um, yeah. A lot like Volution, they're going to build out all the customizations that you need, or involve the third. They'll get the third parties on vol uh, involved for you. Make sure everything works. They'll host it for you. And they'll the it's kind of like a hosted Magento kind of with less features and less yeah. capability, not a lot less, but there's certain things that are really important in Magento that it doesn't have. Uh, and anyway, that's it's a great way to get started. And they can build out. They've told me I haven't been there yet, but they've told me that they can build out pretty much everything that you that you want in Magento for the most part. Big and there's a couple can. things. 
Yeah. So, I mean, they can pretty much do – it's more money. Um, you know, and the, uh, it's hosted. It's, um, it's going to be probably – overall, it'll be cheaper than Magento to implement. And you can take it a step at a time and a bite at a time. You can even start mm-hmm. with their uh, non-enterprise solution. And the enterprise solution, I should be clear, <clears throat> what I've been talking about is the enterprise solution for big commerce with all the customizations. Um, and their, their standard package is a little limited and that's kind of, it's at the same level as a evolution or one of the other, you know, mm-hmm. carts that are similar mm-hmm. to that. Why were you recommending big commerce over evolution in that circumstance? Um, okay. So they wanted, they had the budget to go big and they were an established e-commerce company. They just didn't have that, the e-commerce skills really, or right. the team to back up a Magento installation. Right. And so, um, and they didn't. And actually, they didn't necessarily want to exploit all the features that I really wanted them to exploit. They weren't comfortable with all of it, or they just didn't quite get it. I don't, uh, that's the only way I can say it. Um, not all clients are going to go, hey, that's a great idea. you know. And it's like, even if I've done it, and I have the experience, I've done it with my store that I had, done it with other clients. I've seen other clients do it, and I suggest it to them. They sometimes just won't do it. Right. And so there's a couple of things that this client um, didn't want to do with Magento. And I said, you know what? And they didn't have the skill level. That was the biggest thing. Or the team to back yeah. up Magento. Yeah. You know? So you liked in that circumstance big commerce over evolution, even though they're both hosted. You thought big commerce had more features that they could use. Yeah. They can go, they could grow further with big commerce for sure. Mm-hmm. And now Volution has there's there's no real straight path between Volution and their big brother system, which is Mozu. Mozu is a completely custom thing that's basically kind of like Big Commerce Enterprise, and they're this omni-channel thing that is it's pretty amazing. It looks great. I haven't got anybody to to uh, I haven't had a need to go there yet. Yeah, but I did get a demo on it and and looked around and it looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, given it's going to be all custom. Yeah, and it's a hosted solution. It's very expensive, um, similar to a big commerce kind of thing, a hosted uh, enterprise solution. Mm-hmm. You know, in the Volution scheme of things, and it's right. built. You know, of course, it's a it's a Volution product. Okay, so that's big commerce versus Volution, and then you're going to talk about because still, I'm um, uh, with Magento. You're going to talk about why you love it so much and why people should go with it. But first, talk about your non-love for Shopify. Mm. Okay. Because a lot of people obviously are on Shopify too. Yeah, layered navigation, man. Or faceted, uh, what do they call it? Faceted filtering, faceted uh, navigation, I guess they're calling it. Um, and, and what it is, is basically it's a, a, a real solid filtering system based off of attributes. <clears throat> so it's going to be basing your, um, typically on your left column, there's going to be have like a drill down. Um, like if you have a particular attribute of whatever you're looking for within a category, click it and it'll narrow your search. So there's a way you can do that in Shopify, which is kind of ghetto and you can like tag stuff, but it's not really the deal, man. I started looking at that and I, you know, that was a big boon for me with, um, Shopify and with the way Magento does it, it's so clean and it works great and it's powerful and it really helps people find stuff. You know, people can't find stuff on your yeah. site. Um, so you don't like simple, that but... it's not easy to find things or to search certain attributes on Shopify. Right. And it doesn't have uh, the segmentation things. Another really big deal um, with an enterprise class uh, platform like Magento. Um, and it's it's for big boys. Magento's for big boys. It's for people that know what they want, yeah. and they're power users. Um, and and you know, when I'm putting this together for a client who wants to really get to the next level, that's what I'm looking for. Now with Magento, what I'm and, and to go into kind of more detail um, with the segmentation. <clears throat> so if someone has a certain um, all the way through, there's no real way in Shopify to do proper segmentation at all. Out of the box, it doesn't have anything. Um, you can get an extension to do it for a SaaS model, and these third parties will kind of put some kind of haphazard setup together for you that will kind of email them what they want. Um, you know, you can kind of segment your emails and segment. Um, I think that's about as far as it goes. It may do banners, but I doubt it. I looked at it and was not impressed and bailed out. Uh, the Magento, what it will do, and this is what I'm talking about, you can based off of pretty much any customer behavior you can possibly dream of. You can put together a rule 
um, <clears throat> in Magento. So like if someone's got something in their shopping cart, like it's a big dollar item, like thousand dollar item or something in their shopping cart um, or in their wish list even. And they haven't checked out yet or maybe they abandoned their card or all these different things that they may do, customer may do. You can present them with an email, go try to round them back up with this kind of abandoned card email. That's not a big deal, but that's something you can do. And you can present it with the items that they were looking at or with items that are maybe similar. Um, and a lot of these things you can automate in Magento, by the way, in Enterprise. It's got a lot of automation, things like mm-hmm. that, like automatic related products and things like that based off of rules you set up. Yeah. Um, and then beyond that, uh, you've got, like, you can present them with a banner. Like, so if this person's got this $1,000 item in their, their cart and they're hemming and hawing, they're kind of, they're not checking out yet. And it's, you're thinking, dude, they're not going to make it. <laughs> let's give them... Let's give them free shipping, man. We're not doing free shipping. Yet. Let's do free shipping. So, boom, free shipping coupon comes up because they've waited a certain amount of time. Um, and that's, that's a big deal, man. You can do, based off of what you know about the customer, if you're smart about it and you set it up right, hmm. you can incentivize people to check out and close them and in- increase your conversion rate. You might give a little away. Whatever. I mean, that's, yeah. that's part of the deal, though. You, what are you giving away if they bail? You know? Right. I mean, if you you get your conversion rate up a little bit, um, that's going to exponentially improve your bottom line, and then you're getting you got this chance to keep these customers coming back. Yeah, so you can set up some automated rules in the system really well with Magento, is what you're saying. Right, relating to segmentation, and um, and there's also other things like automated banner presentation. Like you can put together uh, your sales banners for six weeks out and have a calendar set up. You know what you're rolling out. Well, guess what? Then you go into your remarketing, set that up, have those, and and you've got your remarketing schedule going out with like AdRoll or somebody, and those are all going to coordinate. So you're sending the same message on all your channels. And bef- I, I really screwed that up early in the early days. I'd have all these different coupons going on, just everywhere, just kind of like shotgunning. And I figured out that it was way more effective to have one really good special that was to a large part of our you know customer base. Mm-hmm. And you could even have maybe two specials or something, you know, but don't have different coupons all over the place at different times. Have them all coordinated. Um, that's a really good strategy that I found that's that's really worked a lot, yeah. um, you know, in the past. Yeah. At what level of business do you think that it's a no-brainer for someone to just do the Magento Enterprise? Like, is it, oh, when you hit $5 million, you're processing $5 million a year? Or what, mm-hmm. what level is it, listen, from Travis... This is a no-brainer. You need to be going with Magento Enterprise. Right. Uh, I would say, yeah, $5 million is actually on the – that's what I was going to say. Uh, took the words out of my mouth. So that's and, – and also, you need to have the infrastructure set up. So like when I, I'm getting in there, starting up something with Magento, I'm putting in um, – <clears throat> what I do is part of my secret sauce is, hey, create you know a shop owner or uh, – head of tech or whoever I'm working with there, my liaison at the company, hey, uh, here's an invite to Asana. And I get them, you're working with me and Asana, and they see how I'm doing it, and they see how we're doing it with some of these other third parties. You tie tie in my developers, tie in some of my other guys, and then his team start to involve his mm, team. Mm, yeah, yeah. And then by the end of the, by the, end of the you know, three-month or six-month engagement, I've weaned them off. And they they're doing their own project management, yeah. you know, and that's part of kind of my startup with a comprehensive plan to, um, you know, bring companies to the next level, uh, you know, whether it's workflow or workflow or communication yeah. or you know with the project management stuff, um, you know, proper delegation and accountability is a big part of the project management thing. Um, but checking off, you know, hey, it's not assigned to three people; it's assigned to one person, and that's you, dude. You've got to get that done. <laughs> Sorry. So, Travis, I know you started to do this monstrous, epic post. Anything from that that you we didn't talk about with Big Commerce versus Magento versus Shopify versus Volusion that you want to include? There's a ton. Okay, I'm just looking over my uh, yeah. sort of my matrix that I put together here. Called the matrix. <clears throat> it is. Yeah, yeah, it's the cart matrix. Um. Okay, so one of the other big things um, with, gosh, I'm just toting Magento. I find myself just toting Magento over and over again here. Um, there's a lot of details here, but some of it is the is another really important part of this um, is the discounting mechanism. So 
you're going to be offering your customers discounts. I don't care who you are. If you're not silly, um, <laughs> it, it really is. And, and and so you've got to do something. You got to give them a free gift. You got to give them 10% off, free shipping, something, whatever. Um, and Magento will allow you to do that in a ton of different ways with a ton of control. <clears throat> and you can uh, you can get really creative with it. Buy two of this product, get one free, whatever. And the auto add to cart type of functionality is just killer. That's awesome. That's an extension you're gonna have to buy with Magento, but it's not that big a deal. It's like three hundred bucks. Um, and those type of things, you get creative with that, and your customers, you keep them excited and keep them coming back. Um, Volution, it's not gonna happen, man. Unless you're gonna go crazy with maybe getting somebody to build it out for you, reinventing the wheel. There's no reason to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you need to just move on when it's time. And and you can get really big with Volution. You can get you can do five million. There's people doing a lot more than that with Volution. You know, if if you're content with it and you don't want to make the change, you don't want to go crazy, making all these extra, you know, uh, making some insane company, you know, and getting really huge. And some people actually don't want to do that. They're totally content with just playing it safe and not going, you know, taking a bunch of uh, new initiatives on. Um, so that's that's a big deal. Big commerce uh, will have some of that functionality. They can build out some of it for you too. So you can get, again, that's something that's going to be in the enterprise version of big commerce. Um, both of those platforms are mainly going to be using like 10% off or, or you can do a percentage off of like a product. You can do free shipping. That's it. That's pretty much it, man, you mm -hmm. know, for discounts. And there's there's probably, <clears throat> there's hundreds of different discounts you can do with Magento. I can't even... Mention them all here, but there's a, I mean, there's, there really is a uh, pretty much, and if you can dream it up, you can think about it. You think up the discount, man, you just got to program it right. There's a bunch of rules that you'll have to set up and you can do it even based off of, uh, different customer groups in Magento. Yeah. I could go on all day, man. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, very powerful. I mean, when I think of getting a, a piece of software or a shopping cart, I always think of what's the one thing that will make the whole thing worthwhile, you know, like, with Scubana, the fact that it does automation for me, done deal. Like that, it makes it all worthwhile. What is it with Magento? Obviously, that's your favorite. That's why I say it. That makes it all worthwhile to go with Magento. I mean, I don't have any stake or you know stock in Magento. I'm just, I feel I'm like just, I do. I'm yeah. just going off uh, what your preference is, because it seems like that's where you think that people will get the most bang for their buck yeah at a certain level yeah <clears throat> yeah because you won't get that unless you've got a lot of products and you're for, right. pretty far along right or you've got you know the budget to launch it properly yeah. um i guess that's it probably is the discounts like someone and, comes then, to you they're doing let's say 10 million dollars a year and you're like this seems like this is a no-brainer What's going to push them over the edge? Be like, oh yeah, this one feature is going to pay for all the headache and hard work in switching. Uh, the segmentation, and I've kind of gone over how global that really is and how many things it ties into. Mm -hmm. The segmentation is probably the one thing that I really, really like. Um, combining that with, and the other thing is the layered nav. Mm -hmm. The ease of shopping. That's terrific. Yeah. Um, and overall, it's just so much more customizable um, than any of the other platforms I've worked with. Yeah. Especially these other two we're comparing. Yeah. <coughs> Anything else you want to mention on your matrix that would be important? Um, reporting. <clears throat> That's one thing Magento just fails at. And there's nothing there. Um, it's There's some weak sauce, um, you know, extensions you can get and you can do some reporting there, but it's not much. Um, big commerce and Volution have some reporting there. It's average, yeah. uh, out of the box. It's better than Magento though, uh, which is surprising. That's mm. one of the things that Magento kind of failed on. Um, and I'm sure they're uh, cringing right now. Um, my buddy over there is certainly cringing, but that's, that's what it is. So they just don't have it. Um, and it doesn't do it. I like to say it does everything, but that's something that I, when I was creating my matrix, I really, yeah. I found that it didn't, it really reporting just, is, could be big. Like what, what does big commerce report on that? Magento doesn't just general sales reports, man. What products are selling well? What's, um, uh, you know, some customer data. Um, and it's not going to go, it's not elaborate reporting. <clears throat> Neither of the systems are Volution or, or um, Big Commerce. Um, in the reporting that I relied on uh, in my e commerce journeys, 
has been through my order management system. Yeah. So like Suvana might have that. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, I would rely on those guys for that or get a third party that hooks onto the database for that, depending on, yeah. you know, how that's going to integrate. Yeah. But that's, it's, that's a whole nother side of yeah. things. Uh, the reporting part, you know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Anything else from the matrix? Oh, I've got another, another, uh, bad spot for Magento. Um, the built-in search. Built-in search is awful with hmm. Magento. Uh, is is there gotta, a plugin that you can use for that? Yeah. Yep. I would recommend like uh, getting a SaaS model, like uh, something like Nextopia. Nextopia is really good. It just works, and they hmm. put it in for you, and um, it's expensive. It's like three hundred bucks a month, three hundred fifty bucks hmm. a month, but it it works great, and um, you know you'll have great luck with it, and you'll see sales going up right away. Hmm. Um, yeah, now, search other, is huge. Oh man, and, and there's stuff out there like Search Spring, I think it is, or something, and that's something I'd stay away from. They're way overpriced and goofed up. Yeah. They've goofed up a couple of my clients right now. Yeah. Um, don't recommend it. Sorry, sorry, Search yeah. Spring. Um, I usually and, use uh, Swift Type, but I think it's only for WordPress sites. Have you heard of that? Mm -mm. And there, and e-commerce searching is a little different. Yeah, I mean, I'm you're, sure. Because you're doing a different type of, um, you know, which field are you going to try to to get to and <clears throat> and there's if you if you go through a bunch of work and you set up the Magento search properly you you can get something out of it for sure um, but I would really recommend getting a third party if you're doing Magento make sure you get uh, an extension like maybe by a Masty or somebody a Masty's got really good extensions um, for the search and it's not expensive it's like three hundred bucks or something yeah five hundred so what are the some of the ones people should look at for search. Uh, Nextopia is great, and that you can plug that into any of those three platforms: the Volution, yeah. BigCommerce, or Magento. Um, BigCommerce yeah. is not a good search f function either. It's well, they're. I would say they're good. <laughs> it's it's better than Magento for sure, and Volution is actually very good. Yeah, both both of those, and I haven't played with BigCommerce much, but the little I did, it seemed to work fine. Um, but I, I know Volutions is actually really good right out of the box, mm -hmm. um, and um, you know they've they've improved. Uh, they've kind of moved forward with with their platform as far as that goes. And Magento just has it. They just don't care. Um, and they've got, you can get Solar for it, S-O-L-R. Uh, I don't know what that acronym stands for, but um, search something. And it's it's uh, sort of an alternate search you can get. And you can set that up. Now, your developer's going to have to set it up, man. It's This is all custom stuff. Yeah. So, like, out of the box, when you plug in your enterprise Magento setup, it's crap. You go to search for something, and you're like, this is, this is awful. I just paid 18 grand for this. And um, it's really it's depressing um, how bad it is out of the box. It, it, that's the whole thing with Magento Enterprise. You got to have some help. You got to have people set it up. Uh, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Know? But searches, yeah, it's trouble. So you're gonna have to get Nextopia or get like something from maybe a, a Masty plugin for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else from the Matrix? Um, comparison shopping engines. That's probably the last thing I would mention. Um, yeah. <clears throat> The uh, Volution has turnkey set up for that, so they're ready to go uh, for all the different shopping engines you might want to push stuff out to, which is great. Uh, really easy for new merchants to get going and push your, you know, get out to these other affiliated um, networks or whatever. And then, um, actually, that's well, okay. It, Big Commerce and Volution will both do that out of the box. Uh, Magento needs to be set up. It's more powerful with Magento. You can do a much cooler adapt faster for different feed types. Um, and you're kind of stuck with Volution and Big Commerce. If the uh, the feed requirements change for like Google Shopping, and a lot of experienced um, e-commerce folks will be like cringing right now because those those uh, feed specs change, and what um, the PLA's value, uh, the Google Shopping um, system values, when those change, it screws up your PLA's really bad, and right. it just sets just like shockwave through everybody's um, PLA numbers, and goose you all up. So and you're not all of a sudden you're not coming up for results that you used to come up for, mm. and you're even though you're paying for it, right? <clears throat> um, because you're not providing them the right data, or they just pull your PLAs all together because you're missing data, and you now, now you need to fill in more data and or improve your picture size or whatever else you got to do, and you can quickly change that kind of stuff with the more powerful um, feed generator, which you can have in Magento. It's cheap. Uh, just take some configuration and set up, and you can quickly say, "Oh, you know what? Wait, we're going to change. We'll send this field now." And you can have that field filled out in Magento, map it, boom. It's really easy for power users to, to do that. Now, you're stuck with Volusion or Big Commerce. Yeah. If those changes come out, you can't change it with those two platforms at all. You have to wait for Volusion to catch up. Mm. 
you know, Orbe Commerce. To catch that could be painful for people. <laughs> that's one of the, that's the kind of situation you get in with these kind of like one size fits all scalable beginner platforms that are only, they're not charging very much. Right. You know, they're kind of stuck on, they're, they're catering to everybody and they've got so many things that they're trying to do for everybody, make everybody happy all under one roof that, you know, if something comes out and they've got to be, they're just not nimble. It's a, that's a big, you know, ship to steer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can go on all night, Travis, with uh, e-commerce questions, but uh, <laughs> I appreciate you sharing your thoughts on the big commerce, Magento, Shopify, Volusion, and everything else. It's been hugely valuable. People should check out Sharp Commerce, and um, where should people reach out to you if they are interested um, in, in talking to you? Where should they reach out? Uh, you can get a hold of me through the website, sharpcommerce.com. Okay. And uh, there's also a free tips newsletter I've got there. You can sign up. You'll, you'll get an annoying pop-up when you get there. And don't be annoyed. I'm just trying to make you money. Put in your uh, name and email, and I will, I'll will shoot you an email like once a week. I won't spam you. And uh, you'll get you know some tips. I'll fill. It'll make you money. I think that's what should be. I don't know what the current title is on the, on the pop-up, but I think that should be the title. Don't get annoyed. This will make you money. <laughs> All right. I'm going to update yeah, that tonight. Yeah. Nice. Testing. I like it. Um, All right. Thank we'll you. So, testing. <laughs> thank you so much, Travis. I really appreciate it. It's been thank a blast. You, Thanks for having me. Yeah.